Hey guys, we're going to take the React Native image caching component that I made in yesterday's video and convert it over to TypeScript. Then we're going to fix a small bug with it. When you change the URI on it, uh, it doesn't update right now the image. Now, the reason why I'm converting this over to TypeScript is I just want to practice it and get a feel what it feels like in React because there's really no reason to have TypeScript for this. It's a really small uh, component, but uh, yeah, I just want to get some practice with it and make sure uh, it also just make sure you don't have any type errors. So, okay, so let's get started with this. The first thing is I already set up the project using uh, this guy right here. So, this is a little library for Create React Native App. Um, it is a script that you can use. So, notice right here. I just did dash dash scripts version and then point it to the TypeScript version. So when I create my create React Native app, it's now using TypeScript instead of regular JavaScript. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this and we're going to uh, move it into here. So here is my TypeScript component. You can see because it has .tsx over here and you can notice we have a star as React and we're using here are the props for this component. Okay, so let's take this and I'm gonna move the import to the very top. And we are going to just copy the cached image here. Get rid of the text. And then just uh, add the style, so the image. So that's good. So now let's add the cache image. So cache image.tsx. And let's copy this over. Okay, so there's a few things we need to do to convert this over. First off, um, I need to install short hash. So yarn add short hash. Um, and also I want to get the types for expo. So to do that, I'm going to do at types slash expo. All right, so that'll give us the types for this. And now short hash doesn't actually come with types. So we're going to have to add the type ourselves. Um, first thing, let's make this into a, and I'm just going to say any, any for now. We're going to change that in a second. So I'm going to just change this into a TypeScript component by adding this. So here you specify the types for your uh, props and here is for your state. So yeah, let's get all this stuff uh, working first. So element is in validation expected string. So I think we're just, I just haven't saved it, I think. Yep, there we go. So now we're good. So the code works now. We just want to make sure we have no errors with TypeScript. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this one. So right now it doesn't have declaration. So I have this little folder here called at types, but I'm going to add a short hash dot D dot TS. So this is where I'm going to declare a type. So this is how I like to do it. I like to create a little folder called at types and then just the name of the module here, and then .d, .typescript, and I believe this is, if not the same, very similar to how other people add types for libraries. So the only thing we have to do is a function called unique. So here I'm gonna say declare module, and the name of it is short hash, and here we're just gonna export a function called unique, and it takes a string as a parameter and it returns a string. Now there are other things in short hash, but this is the only function we're using, so I'm just going to type that one. All right, next thing is component did mount. It doesn't like us setting the function like this. So we are just gonna say async here. We can just do it like that. Now, uh, something interesting I didn't know about TypeScript until now is that it, it looks like it auto binds it. So normally if I think I do this in JavaScript, this will be undefined in here, but uh, don't have to bind it. And that's why I was setting it equal to a Lambda function before. Okay, so 
now our code is pretty good doesn't like what we have down here so let's add some typing for our state and props so for our interface I'm going to create a props interface and now first thing is going to be um, a URI so that's what we're expecting a string from the user so let's pass that in as our props and uh, interface is kind of like a way to add an object so we have an object it's gonna be our props and then URI is expected now for our state at first this is what I was thinking for the state right is to create my own kind of interface here with the source being um, optional and then if it was if it was there it would be an object with the URI which is a string okay so now we'll set the state but there's some problems with uh, these things so first off um, it didn't like that null being here so we could switch it to undefined to try getting it to work but then we still have problems down here um, so first thing I noticed was there's this thing and I wasn't quite sure how to type this correctly because notice how we have the style prop and really what we want to allow the user is to pass any prop in that an image would accept um, you can also pass to a cache image so for us we want to be able to allow that I just looked at this little warning and I saw that there's something called image properties so I tried importing that from react native image properties and then what I basically wanted to do was merge my props so I wanted to allow my own custom props and the image props so I can do that by extending it extending image properties and now you'll notice um, at least that error goes away the next one is it doesn't like um, this source um, so we have our image properties but we also need to change how our source works over here because it doesn't like it and I want to see so yeah so at the bottom here it says you cannot set the type source it's not incompatible it expects a type of image your resource so it's like okay I can use that too image your resource and I can set that right here so image your resource so now we have a state with the source and now this thing doesn't like it so I changed it to an object and it was good to go and now all our warnings are gone and TypeScript is no longer complaining so awesome so we got there the only thing I wanted to change was uh, I want to add any prop here so const and I want to remove the URI from it so other props we're gonna say dot 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 is equal to this dot props and so instead of specifying the style here I now want to accept any prop Oops. so we're gonna do and we can just do it at the end dot 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 other props okay so now I'm passing any prop that I get from our over here so any prop that I specify here it'll just go directly here now it doesn't like it over here so let's see what I did it's not signed by type read only um, no idea what's going on with that I don't know if it didn't like it because I changed it here um, we'll worry about this guy in a second this is really from the user point of view okay so I want to show you guys the little warning that uh, or not warning but bug that we currently have so right now the image is not never going to change but it's possible that the user has um, a state right where they have the just like a string for the URL so, or the URI if you will um, so let's do that so then for this I want to set equal to this dot state dot URI and this thing will get mad at me because I don't have my state specified so let's specify the state here we could create a little interface but I'm just going to pass it like that um, okay so we get the same cat but now I want to add a little button from react native so button and when I click this button so button title is going to be change picture and it's going to be an on press and when we press we're going to say this dot set state 
and we're going to change the URI. So I just went over to Google Images and just randomly grabbed a new one and copied the image address. And we can just paste it in there. And that one doesn't look like it's going to work because it's not actually a URL. So copy image address. Are all of these data? I want just the image um, address. So let's click on him and let's copy the address. I want just like a JPEG, not the actual data. So let's click on him, click on him. There we go. So this is what I want. And we're gonna paste it here. Okay, so it doesn't like things. Lambdas are forbidden in JSX attributes due to their rendering. Well, that's actually like a good TSLint warning to have. I'm gonna ignore it for, well, you know, we, not, we can add it up here. So what it's saying, it's, it recommends doing, uh, adding a function up here. So we can say on press, and then we can move it up here. And then I'll say this dot on press. Okay. So I don't see a button showing up. I don't know if, okay, here we go. So change picture. So this is not defined, this dot set state. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna make it async because it doesn't look like it bound it, but it was bound over there. So I'm guessing if I make it asynchronous, it works. Undefined is not a function. For, nope, still doesn't like it. So we'll just do this the old fashioned way. So constructor, those of you that are better at TypeScript than me, I'm curious why I don't have to bind it. This guy here, if I have to bind, oh maybe component did mount is auto binded, that's probably it. Never mind. I think I was just being a noob. So this dot state, let's put it here. And then we're going to say this dot on press is equal to this dot on press dot bind this. And we just need to specify a type for this, and we don't expect any props. So, all right. So now when I click on the change picture, the URI changes, but the picture, the cat doesn't. And the reason for that is component did mount. This is only called when the component first mounts. Really what we want to do is component uh, will receive props, is use this one. And what this will allow us to do is, I believe it has, I think it's current props, it's next props and current props. I forget the order, we're gonna have to double check this. Let's see, that will it tell us? Yep, next props and then props. And so this is going to be, the types are going to be props and props and so we want to do all this stuff in this function but we want to conditionally do it we only want to download a new URI when the URI changes so how do we know if it differs well and I'm surprised it doesn't show up over here but that's okay we're gonna say next props dot uri is not equal to props dot uri. So if they're not equal, we know we're gonna say at the top, if they are equal, we're just gonna return out of this. Otherwise, we're gonna get it from the next props. So we're looking at the next props, and if the uri changes, then we're gonna go ahead and run this stuff. And we're not getting anything, so I'm going to console.log next props and props so maybe it just doesn't get called on the first mount yeah it looks like it doesn't get called but if I call what if I click on change picture okay so it does go ahead and appear nice so it looks like we still need the code here to do it when it first mounts we we'll get our cat and now here we're pretty much listening for updates. So now I'll click on this, we now get our fox.
So cool. Or I guess this is not a fox, this is a wolf. All right, so I'm copy and pasting code. Let's abstract this into a function. So let's move this up here. So we'll say uh, download image. And with download image, I want to just copy all this stuff. Now, instead of from the props, we're going to make this asynchronous. And we'll just get this from, uh, get it passed in. So here I'm going to call this dot download image, passing in next props dot uri. And we'll just do the same thing here. But now we're gonna say this dot props the URI. Alright, so download image is now gonna be called. This is going to be a string. So again, this is this guy right here. I would assume I have to bind. But it looks like it's working for some reason. I'm not sure when to bind these functions and when not to bind them in. A TypeScript. It looks like I have access to this when I shouldn't, um, but maybe it's because I'm calling it from this. I'm not quite sure. But all right, this is what I wanted to change. So now we have that um, working nicely. We still have this little type error over here, which I'm not sure what's going on with that. It is not signable to type intrinsic cache image read only. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these types. I'll have to investigate it further. If you guys know why well, it's getting red lines here, let me know. But we'll do in the next video is fix this type error here and also um, set this up so I can uh, deploy it to NPM because I want to set this up as an NPM package. So look into how I can set up an NPM package and also how to like bundle it with TypeScript and all that fun stuff. But uh, this is actually one of the reasons why I tried flow type, which is kind of an alternative to, to TypeScript, and was like, man, I don't even want to do it anymore. Because you end up coding, uh, trying to get the types to line up more than you actually end up coding, I, I found. Maybe that's just because I haven't spent enough time with TypeScript. Um, but. Uh, it can get kind of complex adding all the different things that you have to get and getting them to line up. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.